the greatest threat to democracy. Is democracy really under threat? And who is saying that? And why are they saying it? I'm Dr. Lisa Ann Chung, political leadership strategist, the author of the book Political Change, and the president of McKinley College. So let's answer those three questions. First one, is democracy really under threat? Well, let's quickly look at Abraham Lincoln's definition of what would be considered democracy in his November 19th, 1863 Gettysburg Address. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. And if the government is not representing the people, it is not doing what is in the best interests of the people, then we don't have democracy. And democracy itself might be under threat by all levels, at every level. Question two, who is saying that democracy is under threat? Well, I believe there are two sets of people who say this. The first group is those who don't want you to interfere with the status quo of power. They like their position of power. They want to keep their position of power. The other group is those who feel that their voices and their views are no longer being heard or recognized or factored into the democratic process. Third question, why do they think they're, that democracy is under threat? Well, it's actually linked to question two. Again, looking at the two groups, first group, for those who want to keep politics reserved for certain classes of people, certain groups of people, Democracy isn't really under threat. It's what they say with the hope that people will believe it's under threat. And they are the saviors, I guess. And then you have those who have that first hand experience or they know of the impact of the absence of democracy on people's lives. They don't see government of the people by the people. And for the people. They see the rights, whether it's for themselves or others, being infringed upon daily. They see their freedoms being stripped away from them bit by bit. And these are the people, the second group, who want their nation back. They want their rights back. They want their freedom. And what do I think is at work here? What do I see as the greatest threat to democracy? It may not even be what you think it is. It may not be what is said to be the greatest threat to democracy. And it's not even a specific individual. It's not even a specific party. See, I like to get at the root causes, the root issues. Let's get at the heart of what this, what is causing the threat to democracy. It's leaders without integrity. It's leaders who don't lead by principles, who have no sense of true value for the people that they serve. And so when they lack the integrity, they lack the principles, they don't follow certain standards in leading, their very leadership becomes compromised. And when you have people who hold the reins of power having themselves compromised, ah, democracy itself is at risk. See, if they see themselves as the ones to be served, as the ones to serve, we're in trouble in democratic countries. True leaders, true leaders, you hear my words, true leaders, principled leaders will seek to safeguard their character and integrity because to do otherwise means that they're in a vulnerable position. Not only have they left themselves vulnerable, but they've left the nation and the people that they serve vulnerable. And I discuss more about this in my book, Political Change. If you haven't gotten it yet, this is a great time to 
get your copy. If you are compromised and you're trying to protect your turf or what you see as your territory for leadership, I can guarantee you that your nation is going to be compromised. The way you create laws are going to be compromised. The way you look at policies and what policies and, and what gets checked or not checked at all. All of that's going to be compromised because you are compromised. And those who are greedy for power and they will do whatever means and they will follow whatever means is necessary to keep that power. They're the ones who do not support democracy. No matter what they say in the public eye. And that's why we have to be so careful whether we are in the electorate or we are a part of leading in a nation. What are our words saying? But more importantly, what is our life speaking about us? And so those who are compromised, they will quickly bend the knee to dictatorship and tyranny because they've got to hold on to that power. So what is the greatest threat to democracy? It's leaders who lack integrity, character, and principles. And it is that very threat to democracy that has caused so many people, and I'm sure you've seen this in your country, if your eyes are wide open, and your ears are tuned in. It's caused so many to cry for political change. The perspective that I take in my book won't be the usual perspective of political change. And it's probably not the kind of political change that you're accustomed to. But I truly believe that it's the kind of change that is going to be taking place. Not just here, not just in the UK, in the US, not in any major countries. It's going to be taking place everywhere. And if you want to know how to prepare for, or even let's say even recognize the change, then prepare for it and lead that change. Get your copy of Political Change. It's an essential read for anybody who is serious about bringing transformation to their nation. It's available in ebook and paperback, so you can get your copy today. I'll leave a, a post, a note in the description for how you can do that. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye now.